Good morning and welcome to our Sunday service. My name is Pastor Pete and I serve the Brookings First United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining us today. Some of you have logged onto our website, some of you have joined us on the radio. The invitation today is to join in that ancient practice of Christian worship where we set aside our busyness and allow ourselves a moment to focus on the things of God. We will do this through song, through prayer, through the reading of scripture. But today I'm wanting us to do things slightly differently. We're going to sing a little more. We're going to hear some testimony. I've invited members of our worship team to choose songs that have significance for them and then to explain to us why the song is important and to invite us into singing them. I'm going to close off this time of worship by choosing a song that comes from my home country in South Africa, but I'll explain a little more later. And so the invitation to worship is open to all. You are welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. We begin our worship by using an ancient call to worship. You will find it in scripture as Psalm 100. For those who are watching, you will see it come up on screen. I'm going to do the first half of the verse. And then I invite you to respond with the second half. Fortunately, I have some amazing responders here behind me, so they will help you out. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. All the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come, Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give, Give thanks, thanks to him. Bless, bless his name. name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. And so let's worship. This song by my favorite band, Casting Crowns, cuts right to my heart with lyrics that stretch me and remind me of my true purpose. The world teaches us that it's important that we try to make a name for ourselves, to make a name the world remembers. We can get lost trying to make that happen, and we lose sight of the one thing that really matters. Acts chapter 20, verse 24 says, But my life is worth nothing to me, unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus, the work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. Each time this band is together, we pray that we will be conduits of blessing, that God will reach people through our songs, not for our glory, but for the glory of the kingdom. Let all we do point to Jesus. Please join me in singing, Only Jesus. Make it count, leave a mark, build a name for yourself. Dream your dreams, chase your heart above all else. Make a name the world remembers. But all an empty world can sell his empty dreams. God lost in the light when it was up to me. Make a name the world remembers. But Jesus is the only name to remember. And I, I don't want to leave a legacy. I don't care if they remember me. Oh, Life to live. I let every second point 
Now would you join me in a moment of prayer? Jesus is the only name to remember, and that is why we come before you today, Lord, to worship, honor, and praise your holy name. We lift our voices, our hands, and our hearts to you as we worship you through song. Let our songs be our prayers as we open our hearts and let the music lead us closer to you. Lord, you alone are worthy of our praise, and we thank you for the blessings you are pouring out on this congregation and community. Help us live lives that point to you every second of the day, so that we may lead others to your grace that you so graciously and freely give to us. Amen. So the song that I've been pondering and and working with is song called Even If, it's by Mercy Me. And it's a song that uh, really talks about a faith that maybe at times is strained and maybe it's a time of feeling like, like it's a failure. I would just read from Matthew 17, verse 20. He replied, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, You can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. There's a word in a verse in this song that says, it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. So when life seems insurmountable, bad days will come. Coronavirus will be here. Sickness will hit your family. Remember that your faith will be strained. And if it's strained, God is with you. Even in those tough times. And if we remember that, life will be okay. Thank you.
They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And right now, right now I'm losing bad. I've stood on this stage night after night, reminding the broken it'll be all right. But right now, Oh, right now I just can't It's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down But what will I say when I'm held to the flame like I am right now? I know you're able and I know you can Say Little faith is all I have right now. But God, when you choose to leave mountains unmovable, oh, give me the strength to be able to sing. It is well with my soul. I know you're able and I know you can. Sing through the fire with I know you're able and I know you care I know you're able and I know you care say through the fire with your mighty hand but even if you don't my hope is you alone I know the sorrow I know the hurt would all go And so let's pause and remember the moments when we failed to be the kind of people God created us to be. I am inviting us to use a response. I will prompt by saying, Lord, have mercy, and you then respond by using those same words, Lord, have mercy. So let us pray. Lord, you are steadfast in your love and infinite in your mercy. You welcome sinners and invite them to be your guests. We confess our sins, trusting in you to forgive us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord. Lord have mercy. We have yielded to temptation and sinned. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We've turned from our neighbors in their need. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have resisted your word in our hearts. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and keep us in life eternal. Amen. In Christ, God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or heaven, by making peace through his blood which was shed on the cross. And so I say to you, the peace of the Lord be always with you and also, and also with, with you. you. Let's wish each other peace. And you don't have to hug or shake hands. You can say, peace be with you. Peace be with you. You will notice that we are distancing. The band is not pretending that we are on top of each other. We are hopefully modeling to all of you how we can coexist and still keep each other safe. Peace be with you. So find someone at your house, say to them, peace be with you. Try it. It doesn't hurt. So it was really difficult to pick just one song that I feel speaks to me spiritually. But I chose the song Broken Vessels because there have been times in my life that were very traumatizing and very hurtful and, and very sad to the point where I have been so broken that I've not even wanted to come to church. A time in my life where I didn't even think God even really was there because he couldn't hear my pleas. So when you listen to the song Broken Vessels and you're singing it with us, specifically listen to when we're singing Amazing Grace because that's what Jesus Christ brings, grace to mend you and make you whole. And just remembering that even in the hardest times when you don't feel like he is there, he really is. It's just you really have to have faith and you really have to dig deep when you think you're so broken. And certainly I'm not the only one that's felt like that before, so I know the song will resonate with some people. I want you to hear this scripture out of John 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. It's right there in scripture that even though we are going to be broken, that he is there and he is amazing grace. Sweet. 
we have sung together, we've offered God our love, we have recognized our needs before God. It's time for us to recognize the needs of others. One of the, one of the things we do as God's people is pray for our world. So I'm inviting us to pause for a moment in prayer for our world. Let us pray. O oh God of all creation, you are the beginning and the end of our world. You existed before time and will continue when all time comes to an end. You have loved us since the beginning and your love for us will never end. And so we have responded to your gracious love by singing songs and praying and reading scripture. But Lord, we come now to pray for grace for those who live around us. Grant grace to those who care for us. We remember those who work in stores providing us with food, the truck drivers who deliver, and the farmers who never, ever stop working. Grant wisdom to those who lead our state and our town May they remember that they are placed in office by you and so serve you with humility and the courage to do what is good. Bless all healthcare workers with compassion and strength. We're grateful to those who clean our clinics and our hospitals, to those who service these places of care and we pray your blessing on them. Grant insight to those who are developing a vaccine for this virus, and we remember the sick as this virus challenges our healthcare systems. O oh Lord, we pray too for those who've lost loved ones. We weep alongside those who have experienced the loss of life. We remember, too, those whose work is under threat or who now adapt to living and working at home under difficult conditions. Bless us all with the certainty of your loving strength. And we offer to you the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. And so, and so we draw our service to a close, and I'm inviting us to sing another song. I'm going to offer a scripture passage, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 6. Jeremiah 10, verse 6, that says, There is none like you, O Lord, for you are great. This was a time where Jeremiah despaired for his nation, where he saw people out of work, where he saw people emotionally and spiritually crushed. He saw no way out, and to everyone it appeared as if there was disaster. And at that moment, when he was at his lowest, Jeremiah chooses to pray these words, There is none like you, O Lord, for you are great. A tradition that when we're at our lowest, we take our eyes off ourselves and we look at God and we draw our strength from God. I certainly have had moments where I've lost hope, where I've struggled, moments in my life where things have been really difficult. And I know that my strength in life has come when I've taken my eyes off myself 
And when I've looked at my Creator, when I've been able to say with Jeremiah, there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great. So why have I chosen this song tonight? Because the song is literally these words. They are words that are sung in my home country, South Africa. We have a terrible history of racial conflict, of deep, deep poverty, and lots of political division. And people sing this song to give us courage. It's a song that's known throughout our country and a song that people have sung when they're at their lowest to remind them that there is none like God, that it is our God who carries us through. Right now, my country is struggling with the virus and also struggling with the consequent poverty of shutting a country down as we struggle with the virus. And I know people are singing this song. The song is not in English, let me warn you. It is a song that gets sung both in Zulu and Isikosa. It's a traditional song. The words are Sia Kudumisa, we praise you, and Kosiam, King of Kings. Sia Kudumisa and Kosiam, we praise you, King of Kings. And then the second verse, Ageko Fananawe and Kosiam, there is none like you, King of Kings. So I'm going to invite my wife Jenny to join me. We're going to sing it. The words will come up on the screen. And perhaps as you get a sense of the rhythm, perhaps you can join us. Join us here in Brookings and perhaps join people back home. As we sing together the affirmation of our faith, there is none like you, O Lord, for you are the King of Kings. Sia kudu misa, sia kudu misa, sia kudu misa, ko sia ma ko sia ge ko panaye, a ge ko panaye, a ge ko On behalf of the leadership of the church, I wish to thank you for your continued generosity during this unprecedented time as we find ourselves worshiping in our homes rather than in our church building. Your gifts allow us to extend our reach outside of our walls as we seek to be the hands and feet of Christ in the community. Please accept this blessing over the gifts we are about to receive. Bless our gifts this day, that they may find their way to those who feel hopeless and without resource. O oh Lord, may our gifts be a sign of your hope and love. Amen. And now I offer the following benediction for our service today. May God establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Sia kudumi